ladies. Episode four. We're back at Mom Proof. Okay, I feel like now we've been doing this a little bit like we're experts. Yeah, on our podcast. <laughs> Not <laughs> really, but fourth episode. we're getting through. The whole idea is to share things with other parents out there of teenagers, and ours happen to be heading off to college. So we're at the end of their senior year. It's the end of their time. But is it the end of their time? It's no. the end of our time. Which right. is, is Right, with them. Only with them for the moment. Mm, in this phase. In yes, this, in this yeah. phase. In this transition, right? Nice. Like they're transitioning yeah. to the next part of their lives. So exciting. Yeah. It is exciting. I know. That's why I'm trying to flip Learning it. independence. Yes. And what how they- do they manage themselves? Like, mm-hmm. I feel like so far we've kind of interjected on the management part, like... You know, keeping an eye on them. What are they going to do when they take off? And life there's not this eye. Exactly. <laughs> okay. No, no life I'm taking mine off, people. <laughs> Nugget one right from the gate. Okay. We got to turn not, that off. You got to turn that you gotta off? You got to turn it off. Okay. Do not keep on really, Life360. I've talked to all the other college moms. And if you're out there, please do contact us to help us know whether we're correct. I know. And they please say- put get, it on our Facebook yes, page. Yes. Tell us. You're wrong. Life360. Take on it off when they I go to college. I would have left it on just to- it just for safety, I think. Oh, no. Oh, maybe no. We need to unfriend but and have maybe, a friend do it. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe okay, it's okay, different okay. because your daughter's staying local. <gasps> Good okay. one. Okay. okay. What am I going to do seven okay. hours, 7,000 exactly. miles away? Okay, y'all, I'm going to do it. I'm okay. going to do it. You I'm keep it. No, you <laughs> can keep yours on. <laughs> no, no. I was all set to do it. Uh, that's interesting, though. That's just another part of really letting go. I was thinking about, um, yes, it's a transition. They're moving on. Uh, and some of the books that I read with my other kids was don't change their bedroom. Oh, don't do nice. it yet. I had a friend that when her last son moved out, he came home literally like three or four days later to get something. He was only, uh, maybe it was in the same city, but she had already painted his room, changed the front. It was, oh a, it was a beautiful guest room. Guest room. Yeah. He was out. Wow. Oh, what message do you think that kid would send a 17, 18 year old brain? Oh my God. Wow. It doesn't know, feel my, good. You know what? Right. Devastated. Yeah. And you know what? She, she actually was like, <laughs> Sorry, oh. I love you. Come back anytime. You well, can be a guest now. Oh. I love some parents that are like that, cool. that are like, they have great boundaries and saying, That's once true. you're out, you're out. That's you know, true. after school, like I have one of my kids is living back with me again. I heard somebody told me that they rotate. I didn't believe that. Well, I do now, but <laughs> so don't change the room. Yeah. Right. Don't go nugget. change it. <laughs> Well, and I had a friend today who um, is a different culture, and I love that he said, we hope our kids have uh, their careers, and they go to college, they establish careers, and come back home and live with us. And I said, that's amazing, and so different than anything I'd ever heard. Well, because, because you want the different world. cultures. It is different culture, which yeah. I thought was very cool. I lived cool. in Singapore, and they yes. all did the same thing. This was thing. of the Indianish descent. Yeah. And so, yeah, yes, wonderful. I think that, you know, the family is so yeah. important, so we don't want to lose that. You know, that stuck with me was that— until you get married. Yeah. Oh. When you get did married. I, did I mention I'm single? So I don't really <laughs> want... I mean, I have a boyfriend, but I don't really want any. <laughs> so. oh, that's true. What were you going to say, though? Because, no, like... When you, normal... In other cultures, I know that when they get married is when they actually leave the house. Women and the men? M- women and men. Oh, you're just like, that's completely yeah. an adult. It's just that's... Mm-hmm. They stay together, but... Well, you know, one of the other things I was thinking about, and I had this thought about, is my girl really ready from a financial standpoint? Does she understand banking, checkbooks? Did we do all that? I mean, they do okay in high school. And I just had this conversation with my team with Caring for Cambodia. We're talking about Cambodian kids that have sometimes have better life skills oh, that's awesome, than we though. give our kids because they're thrown out in the world. Yeah. They better know what yeah. to do and how that's to survive. Survival. Right. Mm-hmm. So if, you know, as I'm handing over the phone bill, the insurance, girl, you better pay that light bill. You don't want to come home with that sticker on the door. That you is know, so I, good. I'm not going to do it all, right? Yeah. She's mm-hmm. got to start taking over. Do you find bit. that your last one, because she is the last, is needing more of that modeling now at the end or somehow is naturally inclined to kind of do that? Like, is she ready right now? Or are you like, oh, crap, there's a few more 
tweaks. No, that I think make. she's ready because mm-hmm. she's number six. Oh, that's my question. Yeah. Number one was not ready. I was so <laughs> terrified of him going off by himself <laughs> and drinking away his freshman year. Right. Which he did. Look and at him now. Money, okay, but look at him now. <laughs> and you were a supportive family and got yeah. help. Yeah, we yeah. did get help. And, and that was important to know the difference of when to really reach out and do something. But you know, just making sure that these kids can go and do this. It's important. And do you think that we should take like steps? Like, I mean, one of the things I did was, and it's so simple, like she has a prescription and she's so used to me calling it in. And then the last, uh, I think starting in January, I was like, Oh, are you out of your prescription? You need to call oh, the pharmacy. Sweet. You need to call the doctor. There it is. Done that. There she it doesn't starts. have any refills. And she was so oh. upset. <laughs> and she couldn't believe she had to wait on hold at the pharmacy. Wait till she has to do at and T. I I mean, I love you, at and oh, on right. only a Monday. But, <laughs> but it was uh, just those transitions, right? And, you know, like, if she comes home, she gets home early and she wants to have you know, lunch ready. It's like, okay, well, what did you buy? What did you cook? What I mean, I can't cook your meal. What are you going to do when you go to college? Oh, you know? so and then there are these teens out there that they have it all together. Yeah. The parents are both too busy. They're just, and it works. That's yes. great. Or, so those of us have perhaps pampered a little bit more, right? Let go, let go, let go. But what if both parents were available and they had good enough boundaries to start implementing that with their kid? That is not my family. (laughs) We wait on our senior hand and foot. (laughs) She's going to have a Band-Aid torn off real soon. (laughs) But... But I love what you said. I love how you're real with it. <laughs> yep. Wish I could be that way. But And I'm a therapist. Yes. <laughs> and, and though, the time together, even if I am doing some pampering, it was talking about, it. wow, like this is coming to an end. And then her going, I know. And like we're actually in the moment relishing the fact that I'm spoiling her and she's acknowledging it in her own scorpion way that she appreciates it. And oh, I could get emotional right now. That, mm-hmm. She's a big well, one there. we have a friend that was talking about how she wakes her child up for high school and she puts on an alarm. She puts the alarm on. Then she goes the in. Mom? Yes. And wakes her up. It's, and then comes back and brings her a latte <gasps> to bed and all these things. Oh, my and kid would love this. So we were having this conversation in front of my daughter who says, my mom just screams. <laughs> like, why aren't you at school yet? <laughs> that is great, Sandra. And I was That's like, what better. a difference. I was like, how is she going to make it through college? Is her okay, mom going to have to call her? I have her? to admit. I, the last week, are you spoiling? I have been up every morning, and I'm saying, "Hey, if you want pre- breakfast," and she's like, "What the hell is going on?" Yeah. yeah. Hey, can I? How you doing? <laughs> oh, three weeks ago, one month ago. Yeah. Actually, today is a, uh, yeah a month. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, Today's it's a 26th. month until graduation wow. or tomorrow, I guess. I know what you mean, though. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, we're right in there. We're there. Yeah, thirty days, let's say. Right. <gasps> yeah. Right. So that kind of brings up, you know, as the graduations come and then we're dealing with the boundaries. Again, we talked about in our last episode about, you know, maybe ex-husbands or spouses. And what are y'all doing as far as managing the graduation and the graduation party? And or what, you know, how does that look? Because I know it's even complicated in a a traditional Mm -hmm. household, you know. So what's going on? Because that's probably some good tidbits. Of boundaries that we can show for our kids and show for our parents. I mean, in my case, uh, we're doing a graduation, family graduation party, and um, I just sent him an invite. Okay. But, I mean, and there's no RSVP yet, but <laughs> I just, you know, I, again, trying to be the bigger person, and uh, and it has nothing to do with her, right? Right, no. And so— We that, get seven tickets, right? Is that what we mm-hmm, get for graduation? Right. Right. Ooh, that's tough, people. So it's limited. Yep. Right? Limited seating. So, I mean, it's it's a situation. And, you know, I know other people who have said, what do you do when you have two different families? Because when you're divorced, people are remarried and whatnot. And they're like, they should take that into consideration and have, like, two sets. each family yes. gets a set of tickets. Yeah. Because now you're having to combine families. Uh, we'll leave that uh Advice for them, yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> See if they let's say, yeah. yeah. It's, well, I I told my kids to my immediate kids get to go, and her dad, and that's it. Nobody else can go. The next day is the graduation party. Yeah. Right. It's both families. My ex and I 
really tried to make a commitment to each other at the end nice. when we're getting divorced to say, you know what, whatever we need to do for these kids, let's be that family. Let's yes. take the high ground. Let's mm-hmm. be better then. Mm-hmm. And I think we've done a pretty good job with that. I mean, I, awesome. it's for certain gatherings. Yeah. But um, well, and it's one of those last times, you know, your kids are going to see like, OK, think about modeling again. behavior. We're modeling. Yes. I know I always say exactly. this, but man, if we could stay so much more cognizant of it, like it really changes how you parent. If you can. Be present in your parenting. And I know that sounds really easy, but it, we all know it's not, right? Right. But all that to oh, say— Oh, I'm going to screw up and say something. No, I, well, <laughs> Sandra gonna... doesn't. She filters well. But just anyway, think about it over the whole next like months that we're together with them. These are some of the last times we'll be in the same room with, let's say, both sets of parents, siblings, aunts, uncles, whatever. And then that's going to change. And they're watching us. and. Yeah, I want to see us right. be cool it's about it. Living together, living they'll be back home, but it yes. will be a different gonna, energy. You yeah. won't be living here. You're living downtown. You're living on campus. Right. You're living in, in another mm-hmm. yeah, in state. another state. Right. Yeah, which I think important. does give them like, you know, if you're like you say you're modeling, you know, they could probably use some of those tools when they go off to school, and nice. you know, what about when they have to deal with professors or other students that they're not comfortable with you know maybe they could take some of that that we're trying to teach them with them that's interesting you brought that up when new relationships relationships. i don't know about your kids but every now and again when there's a bad grade it is not my daughter's fault i mean that (laughs) teacher just sucks it's right right Right? so now you're going to be in college you're going to have to go talk to that professor you're we're not going to write you an email and i stopped doing that a while back unless it was really necessary of course but that's another topic of discussion for parents out there. Prepare your kids to go have new relationships. Even if they're not going to college, they're going to work. you got to go get in with other people that you may not love, like, right. or even want to be around. Exactly. Right? Good and that's balance, what I— Tolerating. I think about that with my actions. I'm like, I don't want her to, to think—or not to think, but to say, well, my mom did that. You know, my mom acts this way. Right. You know, like if you're a road rager right. and you see your kid driving the same way and you're like, oh, my God, where'd they get that? Where'd you learn that? Oh, oh I got to look this up. I was just looking at this quote the other day. The be- And it's my quote. The Ooh. best example you set is the actions that you take. Oh. Sometimes what you do. Perfect. Your behavior is the best example you can set. Yeah. And that really is true. We can Goodness, talk until we're blue in the mm, face. Well, find the exact quote I'm for us, though. But, I mean, you know, you don't have to be a therapist, right? Like, Sandra and I were talking about that on the way home, uh, excuse me, the way here, that it's cool that we only need— I want you I want you to read that. There's, we don't need multiple therapists in this room because no. having just genuine friendships and relationships is the most awesome part of, like— building yourself and right. getting better. And it's wisdom, Kathleen. We're older. We I, are. I hey. couldn't sit and do this <laughs> as a mom at 35 or yeah, even 40. True. You know, and I don't even know if we're, true. if we help one person out there get through a tough time. If I had had something like this when I was going through tough times as a parent, yeah. boy, I, I may have done things a little bit different. Right. So the okay, best, let's hear it. it is the best advice you can give is the example you set. Ooh. And I think that's, that is just so true. We are not a, do as I say, not as I do culture. And I right. think, and you probably can correct me if I'm wrong, if you, you could say, we say stuff to our kids all the time. What do you mean? And how much are they listening? Oh. As opposed to they see you yeah. do something. <laughs> there you go. And they remember that. Yeah. Oh, that's so I mean, true. my daughter remembers yeah. every bad thing I've done, every action that I took that she did not approve. She Isn't remembers. Oh, yeah. How many times have you dropped a kid off at the wrong football field, <laughs> right. lax field? I think poor my, – my last son got the worst of that. Mm-hmm. I must have taken him to practice at the wrong field <laughs> 15 times. But he's the middle of six, so yes. it was a miracle I was even alive that day. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's <sighs> impressive. That's you got to forgive yourself yeah. for the ma- mistakes you make as a parent. Is that in the book? Because it should no, be. <laughs> but it definitely should be. Isn't that true, though? But with that being said, that they remember the negative, and that mm-hmm. is a human behavior, as we all know. It takes like five positives to undo one negative comment yeah. or yeah. something. And I don't have the stat on that, correct? But um, think about what we're doing these last days with them in a more intentional way. Like, I just feel like that. If there's anything that I feel positive about right now, I think everyone in this room, I'll two of you are also feeling like we're doing a good job of that. Like we're really cognizant about what's happening without being too, I don't know, up in their business, but just super observant. Mm -hmm. So that's really important. I think right now. 
think you got to look in the mirror and say you're doing a good job. Yeah. You really do. I mean, the high five, the high five, Mel Robbins. I was just watching her the other day. I mean, you, again, you have to, you have to really model other good behavior that you admire or seek to be right. And I, I would think, and I am lucky enough that my daughter kind of wants to go in some of the direction that I've been and not all of it, but again, wiser, making better decisions as we get older, leading by example and admitting your faults. Boy, have I learned to say, wow, did I fuck that one up? Good one. You know, God, I was horrible on that. Yeah. Yeah. I think earlier. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. How about apologizing to your kid when it's necessary? I would have been like, I'm the mom. I made the decision. Yeah. Right. And that's not the route. No. That's always helpful. Right. (laughs) Yeah, I think it helps them to to see that you can admit when you're wrong. Yeah. And then, you know, what are you doing to, you know, correct it? Or just basically I'm human, there right? They're human. We're human. And we're going to make Haven't mistakes. Have you said that to your kid before? Like, yes. I, there is no manual, kiddo. I messed up. I yes. fucked up. I'm I'm yeah. a human. I'm yeah. sorry. Like, yeah. I literally feel like it came out of my mouth a couple of weeks ago. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it did. I know. Yes. Yeah, and they bring stuff back up to you, you know, mm. when you're like, you know, that's the funny part is like when you're, didn't you tell me not to do that? Or didn't you say not to behave in that manner? <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. Does your younger one do that too? Oh, he's he's always calling me on everything. He's, he's the, nine? He's nine and he calls me on Any- and uh, everything. <laughs> he's like always on top of it. <laughs> Talk about raising young adults, right? Oh, yeah. They know. They know. I tell you what's fun about having a kid go off to college and come home. And maybe it doesn't happen after, right when they go in the first year, two or three. They start telling you stories of things that happened when they were kids, quote unquote. And you're just. That they did that they never that told they us? did that we never knew about. <laughs> and some I did know about. I There's one of my older kids of, they're two of the two older ones. Uh, I have my nephew with me for a while in Singapore, so they were both teenagers. We thought it would be a good idea to have a 16- and 17-year-old cousins hang together. <laughs> Boys. No, it, builds, it wasn't. It builds schools. But oh, that was probably good for them. You know what? It, they wouldn't switch that, I'm yes. sure, for a thing. But what they used to do and sneak out is, one, we get on the other one's back and go down the stairs real quietly. Because if all <laughs> wow. of them went there are wood stairs, we would right. hear. So they could just <laughs> heavy. Out, Oh, yeah. Right? But what they had to get out. There was a party to go to. Uh-huh. But it's interesting. You That's And I was funny. talking to Ava about that just recently. Did y'all know stories. about that one? Or they no, really shed light on no. that one? Okay. <laughs> I saw Sorry, God ahead. only knows what else was out there. <laughs> but we also have to think about those things. We don't want to think forward too much about being anxious, but think forward to some of the really positive and fun conversations that come out. Nice. When you have an adult child, uh-huh. it's so cool. Yeah, I cannot tell you what that feels like. It's amazing. Have mm-hmm. conversations with them you never thought and then they give you parenting tips on what you could have done <laughs> right? better. And I'm Which thinking, is good. oh, God, I, okay, I got to think about that one. Or, <laughs> That's but, cool. And then you could work on it as a grandmother, which I guess all the rules go out the window on yeah. grandmother. Oh, yes, or like, if you're like me, I still have one at home, so I could work on, could it work. on the younger one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, implement your tools. Yeah. No rules. Oh, my yeah. god! But you know what is cool is you watch the humans they become. And I think it's a cool conversation to have with our, ki- our, our kids that are going about off to, to school right now about how— your identity is going to change. Nice. You're going to be someone different. You get to craft that. Yeah. That's up to you. Yeah, that's so nice. The letting go. How yeah. different were you your freshman year in college or your first year at a job outside of high school than, than you were as a high schooler? I mean, it was like 180 degrees mm-hmm. difference who I became. Is that similar to what you all felt that first year Oh, for sure. Year I thought college? I was all that in a bag of chips, for <laughs> sure. I'm an adult now. Dude, no <laughs> one knew anything but you. Right. Or, or, right. Yeah. Well, and, and, you know, everybody's experience is different because, like, I worked and went to college. Oh, I didn't really have time okay. to even, like, Fair. think mm-hmm. about it. And so— that's the one thing that my daughter keeps asking me. She's like, well, where, how were you when you were in college? And I'm like, well, I was more of an adult. Oh, you know, I was right. forced to 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 work. I worked a night shift and then I went to school in the day. I really didn't have time for all that. I didn't have that college experience. Yeah. But, that's a different you know, so I, trail. you know, I tell her, I was like, you know, I didn't have that. But this is how I wish it would have been. And, you know, and it's like in that telling her, I'm happy for that you have that and don't stress so much about 
the, you know, have fun. You can have fun, get good grades, but learn how to put some, you know, relief into your life that you're not just so stressed about having to do so many things. Let your hair down. Yeah, that's a a good point. Do we stress enough to our kids about the privilege of A, being able to go to college and two, not maybe not having to work their first year. I mean, she may have to work and we'll see how she needs an allowance, but totally. Hopefully dad will pitch in. (laughs) Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. That's a great point, Jamie, because I feel like it's been so serious now as they've been making the decision. Mm -hmm. And and, and again, if they're not going to college, they're still making a decision. It's still deciding, you know, what's next. But maybe we do twist a little bit this summer or soon, whenever timing Mm -hmm. and talk about like, not only appreciating it, but embracing it. Like this is such going to be a great time in your life. The experience, the fun, let your hair down, meet new people, try new things, keep it within boundaries, keep it safe, safety first. Right. But pressure, there's going to be a whole, but there's going to be a lot of pressure, but man, you got to let that, like Sandra just said, how do you decompress? Right. And and I think like, this has been going on in other countries, and I think now we're adapting it here is why kids take a gap year. Oh, right. Because then they get to learn about themselves and maybe become a little bit more uh, comfortable. Wish. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. But, you know, that's a choice. I think that's a good choice. It's not for everyone, but that's another thing is, like, making sure that your child knows that it's okay to do that, you know, to take that time but also to be productive during that time. Right. That's tricky, right? I mean, there's so much pressure societally yeah. to get your kid into college. But think It is. Right- well, and right now, here we are at graduation. I heard some families talking the other day somewhere to, at their, to their junior. Oh. Well, he's getting ready to plan. He's getting ready. We're talking about college. My gosh, can we just get through this year? He wasn't even We've a junior thought, yet? No, he's a junior. Okay. So oh, here we are at the end of the year, right? Yeah. Uh-oh, senior uh. time. you got to start thinking about this. You know what? I, I just, I don't believe you do. And I know a lot of parents would disagree with me on that. But I think it's really important to give our kids a break. I, Hold up with the pressure. Because now they're going to get pressure enough. Right. High, uh, high school was tough. Senior year. Freshman year of college. Who are you? Ooh. You got to make the grades. Yeah, I mean, You tough. have you're to check it. yourself. Make yeah. sure you're not doing the wrong thing and that you're passing school Mm -hmm. all the parties. and i mean let's talk about that yeah i remember saying to ave you're gonna have a week of parties it's not gonna be whether or not you are gonna go i don't think no she's it's gonna be which one so every night parties they need to decide though also to moderate that right that's right and there has to be reminders of safety safety don't leave your drink alone (sighs) Be careful with what's out there. And you know what? Every teenager should have a can of Narcon in their dorm, in their apartment. For the fentanyl. I mean, I had a friend that lost her son a few years ago. Just a random, went out to a party, came back into his apartment, did some bong hit. Good kid. Nothing ever. was laced with it. There was something there. There was something there. And that so that's was what so, I've been telling my kids. We go to these festivals. No. You don't know. And so at this point, unless you have your own marijuana, and no, I'm not condoning that they do, but I am saying never smoke someone <laughs> mm-hmm. else's weed that you do not know really well. And I'm you, sorry, I'm gonna yeah. put that right out there. No, you shouldn't yeah. put that out there. These concerts, that's the reality yeah. of, of what our kids are no, doing. That's with the reality. Right there. That's it. It should be the same as don't drink after Correct. someone somebody, right, or kid James said cover your drink. Yeah. Or somebody hands you a drink. You don't don't take it. No. It's the same thing. It no. applies. So the there same it is. Way. The top safety tips, yep. right? Yep. If you're walking to your car, be aware of your surroundings. Have your keys out. Your pepper spray. Guys, too. Yeah. You know, better I yet, mean, have two pair. You know, have a pair yeah, if you can. If you can, if don't you can. walk by yourself. Correct. Right. Have mm-hmm. that narcon in your apartment. Oh yes. Let a friend know yes. when you're going out somewhere, yes. or if you leave and you're going home. I mean, it's silly, but we do live in a crazy world, and we have to address that and talk about it. In the midst of all that fun. Oh, gosh. Yeah. It, oh, it, no, we're not going to be worried or anything. What? <laughs> Did someone tell me to take the app 360 off okay, after this yeah. another episode? And yes, it made me okay. think of it. I think you should have somebody have the Life 360 <laughs> if they're more I'm than kidding. two hours okay. away from you. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I will have to share. Well, that. those are all very good tips <laughs> and things that we can take away and hopefully implement some of them, right? Like, Yeah. This goes back to the mom proof. Yeah. Because it, it really is about being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. And those are uncomfortable conversations. They're tough to have with other parents, friends, what what have you. But I'm glad that we can have them. 
Y'all are awesome. I love you. Yay, Aww, love you. I love you. Aww. Aww. I love hug, you. Hug, hug, kisses. Yeah. <laughs> okay, until the next one, right? Anything yes. you want to add, Kathleen? Peace out. All right. <laughs> Thanks, That's a wrap. Guys. Thanks. Bye.